I know. He's like, I get tired of bikes. I'm like, no, he could he should have just been honest and said, hey, my bike's a beater ass piece of shit and I want to trade for something halfway decent. <laughs> Dirt bike grips on here. The throttle tube is cracked for sure. Let me see. Yeah, it is. It's completely two minutes turns into twenty minutes. Well hey, we can start it. Maybe. I'm not gonna lie, I like fuel injected bikes. But yeah, in order to make this rideable again, alright, here's what I'd have to do. It's like literally every ride out here. Yeah, so here's what I would have to do. I'd probably just buy a new gas tank. Okay. Ramen. What? Ramen doesn't work on this. <sighs> it's not going to work on this because you have like dents here. And this is going to be hard to recreate with Bondo. And then you got to recreate this. You'd have to bang it out. I don't know. And it's rusty. It's rusty. So you, you'd really just buy a new gas tank, really. Yeah, you'd want to trailer this out. You'd not want to ride it anymore. Um, so I'd start with the front. I would obviously get new tires on it and get them balanced because I don't know if these are balanced. That rim up there has a dent in it, I think. Maybe not. It might not have a dent, but I'd be very surprised if it didn't. Um, I'd rip off this whole front. I'd reposition the bars. Brown. It's highway riding only. Yeah, for sure. And, um, I'd throw away all the fairings. This is definitely a naked bike at this point. Um, I'd have to check, make sure the forks aren't bent. I honest to God don't know at this point, and it's kind of hard to test them without a front brake. Um, the brakes are leaking oil. No, nah, I mean, there's, there's, I thought this was all there, there's not much that isn't broken on this. If this comes with it, I'm down. It works, dude. Comes with some free tools. Oh, shit, huh? This thing's stolen. Oh. Okay, I want you to see something. But if he has the title for it. That dinked where the, like, that's something tapping it. Yeah. They tapped into this, dude. Didn't he say my crazy ex-girlfriend or something? Huh? Yeah, I said something about that. <laughs> <laughs> the tank? Or the yeah, key? She hit it with something. I, oh, I don't know. I thought it was the tank. Nah, dude, this bike is hot. I'm thinking it. Stolen as fuck. So, the headlights even fucking work? Oh wow, headlights work. Ah, dude. Sketch is an understatement. So, yeah. How's it going? Thanks, man. I got water right now, but he this might have one. This one's really, really cold. Really, really cold? I'll take one, man. Thank you so much. Awesome, man. <laughs> Super cold? Two minutes turned into 20. Which means I can't trust this guy, really. Dude, this bike is hot as fuck. This thing's stolen. What do you guys think? You guys think this is stolen? Here's the VIN if you guys want to look it up. I'm in Bakersfield, so if any of you guys are in Bakersfield and know of a stolen MZ6, here it is. J-Y-A-R-J-O-8-Y-X-6-A-0-0-0-9-8-7. That's that. Vin's still good on the frame. Yeah, fuck. Tack that with a weld, maybe. I don't know. You know, if something's usually too good to be true, it's usually too good to be true. I'll buy it for 400 bucks. If he has the title and it's clean, I could totally ref I could at least sell this for over a grand. I don't need to get new tires. I can clean the chain, get a new gas tank, probably make four or 500 bucks on it. Well, what you do is you get a, you weld it. So you just tack it. And then you that's better than actually crack, yeah? What? It's not actually cracked. That it's just like a chip taken out. 
it, it is repairable, you know. Yeah. You tack it with a weld and then you shave it down more a little bit, but that's compromising the strength of the bike. Oh god. Oh god. Dude, this is one of those bikes where you just like do the Hail Mary before you take off the gas tank, you know, because you're really guessing what's under it. <laughs> Dude, he's gonna come back, make some excuse about the title. I want a fuel injection so bad. God. Nice little 600 Yamaha engine. <laughs> oh, Facebook Marketplace. I mean, so many. Oh, oh. Rack my nuts. Meet so many great people on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> oh my god. Ow! <laughs> the rear view just demolishes your hand at full torque. Bro! Dime! I'm within shooting range of the house if they can start firing. Oh. nothing what are you about? the um when you fully torque the handlebars uh, why what is it doing it's all right here let's put it back it's here get over here let's put it back up <sighs> oh, I, don't... I don't think so man what you have, bud? There you go. one two three oh. <laughs> You're telling me. Damn, dude, you got some aftermarket exhaust on there, huh? Yeah. Shit bangs. Is the registration renewed? Yeah. It is? Yeah. Uh, I think it just really expired this month. It says uh, 5 10 21. So it's expired? Uh, what's it? Yeah. It's day 6? Is it 6 months? Huh? It's 6 months, right? Is it July? It's June? It's May. It's May? Yeah. It's, yeah, 6. It really expired last month. It says the uh, lean sale was last year? Mm -hmm. I don't know, I just bought from the Toyota like a month ago, I can say. A month ago? It says 920. I bought it, I don't know. Date of possession? I don't know, I bought it a month ago. I don't know what, what that's, I don't know. I know that I bought it a month ago. You can call him and get a beer or whatever. Or you can do it online, actually. All right, well, I'm definitely not okay with uh, doing the trade. Yeah. Because, A, there's a lot of damage on that bike and I can't ride it. Um, that's for, I definitely want to tow it out of here, but I, I'm interested in buying it if you want to sell it. What do you want to buy it? Uh, what do you want to buy it for? I mean, it's just like, like small things like fairing, fairing crack and then the, uh, 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 the, uh, key. Uh, I'll go over everything really quick. Um, what are you trying to, uh, how much is this bike for? In this condition, it's not worth four thousand. <laughs> no. No way. Oh fuck no. I mean, so first and foremost, I don't know if the forks are bent or torqued or turned or something's wrong with the front. Because uh, when I'm going straight down the road, these are these are not straight. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um. This whole front fascia, yeah, it feels like it's, loose. it's about to fall off, honestly. I think there's like two plastic pieces back here, like holding it up, literally. 
I think that, I think I'm a, like, yeah. Um, and then over here, and th this tank is, the tank's rusted out in the inside. So this thing's sending rust into the fuel injectors. It's horrible. Yeah, I mean, I have no idea what the condition of the engine is. This tank is trash, really. I, I, I don't even feel comfortable running it right now with that gas tank. <laughs> Yeah, I, I need somebody to tell me what's exactly what's on this bike. Yeah, I really don't know nothing about bike. Dude, it's it's maybe worth a couple hundred bucks. <laughs> I mean, if you part it out, if you part it out, you can sell maybe the the swing arm and the rims and the engine, and maybe get six hundred dollars, eight hundred dollars. But I mean, this is trash. The seats trash. This rear. Fender's trash. This whole subframe is bent like badly Which is also the reason that the there's a weird noise when you rev it. It's like it like makes a little choking noise I didn't do that before until this uh, Until this uh, just got drilled out because uh, I lost the key. <laughs> yeah, it might be suction in here, too That's, that's why it does that. It never it never did that before. But the issue is this bike flipped it? Fuck yeah, for sure because you look over here it, it, you need a significant impact to take a chunk out of a frame like this. Um, I mean, maybe it just hit a curb. I don't know. But so when you see something like this, you don't know if the frame's bent. So and if the frame's bent, this bike is a death trap. Yeah. Um, this is leaking oil you got your forks are leaking you got the brake lines leaking um shit man and then the registration is expired and i don't know i've never seen this stuff but yeah i mean i'd be willing to look into it if you are interested in you know selling it yeah no worries i mean i'd be willing to offer you like 400 bucks for it but if you don't want to do that understandable where, where, what's it uh <coughs> this project to take it to this like holy service fixed like everything no one's gonna fix this because they can't be liable for it it's so damaged that they'd have to do it under the table they can't report in their system it's not going to be listed for their insurance company. You know, you have business insurance when you have a mechanic shop. Um, it's homie work, bro. Uh, homie mechanic that yeah. can do this stuff. You know what I would do? I would, I've rebuilt a lot of bikes. Yeah, I would just start tearing it apart, man. You don't know what's wrong with it, what's going on with it. You need to figure out what's fucked and what's not. It me $1,200 a day. That's all known. Someone came here and saw it and wrote it and offered you twelve hundred. Arab, I know that Arab is on a smoke shop here, and I took it over and he, he asked me how much you want for it. He he was sitting behind the counter. He wrote it. Oh, he did. Yeah. He wrote it. Dude, sell it. Yeah. Go do that right now. Yeah. As a homie to a homie here, yeah. go get rid of it. Yeah. Um, it's definitely uh. It's in rough shape, man. I mean, I really, really, really was. I, that one. Uh, Is that good on, on that bike? Yeah, a uh, little bog at 9k RPM, but it doesn't bog. It like one of the. Okay, so when you have a carbureted bike, that's carbureted. Oh, carbureted? Yeah, and there's specific jets for RPMs. You know, they shoot gas through them at certain RPMs. The the top end jet are clogged i'm almost positive or it needs to be rejetted for this altitude i don't know i haven't dove into it i've been riding it for about two weeks now and uh and really i'm not i'm not a i'm not crazy for it no but it's it's clean it runs great tires are great chains great i trust it i've taken it up a mountain road and ripped the shit out of it and everything's fine <laughs> Dude, you'd have to throw like, god damn, that's a tough question. If you could do 1400 probably, I'd do it. And that? Yeah. 
But I mean, I'd be pouring all fourteen hundred dollars into this, because. Yeah. But then you, you, would, you, you'd actually have a the, the bike's better than that one. It's fixed up. What's up? This bike, I think, would be better than that one if it's if it's up to par, no? Inside, I don't know. I'd have to take off the gas tank. And, and the thing with the key is like that's that's a pain in the ass. Nah, it's not, it's not that hard, really. I, just, I ordered on Amazon like yesterday, like today actually. You ordered a Yamaha key. Yeah. But it's it's a blank. No, it's, it's cut to the ignition to the lock. How'd you do that? I ordered it online. But how did they know what the ignition was? I got a new ignition. New gas tank lock. Oh, a new ignition. Yeah, yeah. see, unless it is it OE, it's not OEM. Yeah, it is. An OEM on Amazon? They don't sell OEM on Amazon. Yeah. Sure. Oh, she has a receipt in her phone. But yeah, I've bought key switches before. Yeah, sure, you can buy one for like 40 bucks on Amazon. Yeah, yeah no problem. But um, again, it's devaluing the bike. Shit. Fuck yeah, dude! You need you need OEM pieces on this kind of thing if you want it to be running nice. Oh, okay. I mean, I got to rebuild the forks. Yeah, yeah. Probably throw new tires. I don't know how old these tires are. Holy shit! Uh, second month of 2018, man. So not too bad, but and then you have this. So uh, this isn't it. This is bad. This shaved the. This shaved it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it definitely skidded. It, it slid on this side for sure. Um, but this this also ruins the integrity of the rim. And it also, you know, it'll... This thing has to be perfectly balanced in order to go top speed, land fat wheelies on it and not wobble out. I mean... It's uh, it's a lot of work. If that guy's willing to buy it for twelve hundred dollars, dude, I would waste no time and do that. Yeah. 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 I would. I, and if I was gonna sell it, man, I'd rip off this whole front. It's it's so unnecessary. It's so clunky. It's honestly a hazard to your riding, because if it cracks off and falls, you're definitely gonna have a bad day. And then I would try to figure out why the hell it's. I mean, these bars aren't centered. You can see that right there. Yeah. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five ish. <sighs> yeah, man, it just needs a lot, a lot of work. You got, uh, by Sully, they have a, um, a salvage yard that, that sells parts for bikes? Fresno? Fresno does? Fresno has a solid place. Yeah. You can maybe go to Fresno and get some stuff. Yeah. So yeah, the and the, the subframe is definitely worrisome. Yeah. Definitely, I, I didn't even know that, dude. Like I had no idea about what you just told me. Like I, I'm like, I'm kind of like blow my mind. Like, like told me there was this bike so yeah, it's good. I was like, okay. I didn't even, I didn't even like ride it because I, I was out of town and I came back and I they bought it and then I rode it and I was like, oh. Well, if you want to sell it, if that guy doesn't buy it for twelve hundred bucks, I mean, I'll I'll take it off you for again like four hundred bucks. I'd come out here, I'd trailer it out. Um, no no worries, man. Take your time. Um, but I, I I highly recommend not riding this. No. No. The more it's ridden, the more that engine's worth less, and that is the heart of the money right there. I'm literally paying four hundred dollars for your engine. The, the rims are toast. This one definitely toast. I mean, sometimes they can put it on like a lathe and they can like, they can resurface it, yeah. Or I don't know if it's a lathe, whatever it's called, but they resurface it, yeah. And um, this is hella worrisome because your exhaust goes through the subframe and like down through the bike. And if this is off, then you know one of the connections in there is definitely torqued or I don't know if it's bent or what and yeah besides that man I think I think you're uh 
It's a fucking project. <laughs> it's a project, bro. I appreciate you reaching out, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What would the lowest you take on that bike? The lowest I take on that is. Oh no. <laughs> No, definitely not. There's people already ready to buy it. So I got a guy lined up for tomorrow. He's at he's at 1600. 1600? Yeah, I'll probably do it. Yeah. So if I go 1600 dollars before then. Yeah, I'm meeting him tomorrow morning at 8:30 a.m. So. Um. Missing on the back. Yeah, for sure. That's it. Yeah, go look at it, man. Again, it's carbureted. There's, there's carbureted, food, like. carbureted is like uh, mechanical, you know, and you know, fuel injection is like electronic, if that makes sense. This will all come out with um, windshield polisher or like headlight polisher, you know. But this has been low sided, okay? So this has just been laid down at a pretty pretty low speed in the corner and that's where this comes from, you know? Whereas that one went like this. Probably like two, fl one flip and then skid. But like if you look at this right here, you can see like the back is like perfectly aligned with the rear wheel. Um, no leaks on it. Everything's like uh, safety wired down. It's got it's got at least two grand worth of uh, suspension done to it. Um, it's got racing suspension. It was set up for the track. No yeah, you see all the aftermarket um, hoses on there. It's a well taken care of bike. Uh, those are overflows. So one's like a one's like an airline for the gas tank. One's like a coolant overflow, and the other one's I don't know. The last one is. It's basically all OEM. It, it is for 1998, dude. It's it's sweet. What's up? Oh yeah. It rides incredibly smooth too. Well, when you, if there's anything, uh, I'll be in touch before the morning. All right, man. Appreciate you, man. No worries. Thank you, brother. What's up? Appreciate your speed. Yeah, no worries, man. Day, huh? You too. Oh, what? Dude. <laughs> Is my camera still going? Yeah. Nice. What, um, Ready to go? Yeah, go? I gotta go to a gas station. What's he gonna do? I don't know. Is that it? Yeah. Yo, yeah. is the camera still going? Yeah. 